All right, I am here with David Azizi from the Law Offices of David Azizi, and something we have been doing over the last few hangouts is discussing insurance frauds as it relates to personal injury or any type of accident related to a car accident or pedestrian accident. And one of the more common tactics that is being used now is a pedestrian knockdown accident. David, explain a little bit about a pedestrian knockdown accident. All right, pedestrian knockdown accident is more or less what it says. It's the people who are engaged in these type of particular type of frauds, uh, they stand on a quarter, wait for a car that's coming around the corner or a vehicle that's traveling somewhat of a lower speed, and then they jump in front of that vehicle and act that that, that vehicle ran the light or caused them to get hit. And it's a very dangerous procedure. Unfortunately, a lot of times it's actually involved in circumstances where people who are involved in this stage type accident, they end up dying. Um, so that's what a knockdown of a pedestrian, stage knockdown is. is they, they, they stand on the crosswalk. Vehicles sometimes have the right to make a right turn, but these people have their green light, and they wait at the corner, they act like they're talking, and then next thing you know, as the car is about to make its right turn, they jump in front of the car, get hit by the car and try to claim all these types of injuries. And like you said, a lot of times at the spot, they will say, pay us the money, we'll let it go. And a lot of people are afraid of their insurance premiums going up, so they pay these people. The other aspect of how these fraudulent cases affect both not the insurance company, but the plaintiff side, the actual genuinely injured people, is that there are circumstances where people generally are not paying attention and they're making a right turn and the pedestrian has a right away and they get hit. And in these type of circumstances, because of the fraud that exists, insurance companies take a hard stand and a lot of times put investigators on the matter and it's made the business harder because the legitimate, genuine party who really was not trying to stage anything now becomes a target of a potential fraud case and the insurance company takes the stance of, how do we know that this is not a fraud? How do we know that this guy's not trying to stage an accident? And luckily, a lot of times, our clients' backgrounds would be able to show that they're not fraudulent people, that they haven't done this. Uh, I had a case where somebody was trying to claim that our client cut in front of them and caused a rear an accident. But once we got involved, we were able to get an accident reconstruction expert and we were able to prove that there was no way that our client would be able to get in front of this truck and get rear-ended because there was a parked car. If our client got rear-ended, it would have been smashed into that parked car, and that car had no damage whatsoever. And so we were able to prove that it's not a fraudulent case. But it's sad that these fraudulent cases hurt our business because now the insurance companies are always questioning everything and trying to determine if it's fraud or not. Absolutely. So if you do have a genuine... Um, pedestrian accident or any type of car accident, please feel free to contact the law offices of David Azizi. You will see the phone number above in the YouTube video as well as below in the information. Thank you for your time, David. Thank you.